The Supreme Court's landmark ruling in Plessy v. Ferguson reversed nearly all the civil rights progress made during Reconstruction. The Plessy decision is obviously a tremendous setback for African Americans um, in the 19th century, and the basic decision is a setback. Homer Plessy was a 30-year-old shoemaker who was convicted of violating a Louisiana segregation law by refusing to sit in a blacks-only railroad car, although he was only one-eighth black. Ferguson was the judge who ruled against him in a lower court case. The Supreme Court decision in Plessy versus Ferguson maintained that segregation was legal so long as the railroad provided separate but equal accommodations for passengers. State legislatures responded quickly with laws reauthorizing segregation. This gives the go-ahead to segregation in every aspect of Southern life, whether it's schools, public facilities, theaters, hospitals, you name it, cradle to grave segregation. Now, of course, separate but equal is a myth. These facilities were never equal. The black facilities were always far inferior. And so the Plessy decision actually really does hinder what African-Americans saw as the inevitable advancement toward a more integrated and egalitarian society. This inequality, emphasized by the vast disparity between the facilities provided for whites and blacks, would not be challenged again in the courts until the mid-20th century.